Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Who Did It Best, the series where I challenge some of your favorite YouTubers to see which one of us plays as a country better than the other. Today we're going to be playing as the nation of Ulm and we're going to be challenging fellow YouTuber Camrian. Now what are we? what is the plan for Ulm today? Basically see how far we can expand the country of Ulm and see if we can't make it as a great power without developing nor building any buildings in our country. So this is purely a conquest run to see how much land and how fast we could become a great power by the year 1500 now before i start this video i just want to remind you guys to go ahead like and subscribe to my channel as i do produce eu4 content at least one to two times every single week along with victoria 3 content i am also close to hitting a thousand subscribers so it would be awesome if you guys could finally help me get over the hump and finally reach that thousand subscriber goal and without further ado let's get right into it as Ulm. here we are as Ulm. We are a little free city here. Some of our ideas is we get 5% trade efficiency, land leader maneuver, yearly army tradition to finish our ideas, burger loyalty equilibrium plus five, diplomatic relation, prestige, fort defense, production efficiency, mercenary discipline, and tolerance of the true fate. Kind of okay ideas. I'm not like a huge fan of Ulmer idea. We are also a republic. Again, as I mentioned, we are a free city, so that makes us a free city republic. So we do get the dev cost, which we're not going to be using. Uh, we also get 10% trade efficiency and plus one diplo relations slot. First thing that we are going to do is improve relations with Mr. Austria here and also build a spy network on our boy Wurttemberg. Speed five it and we do have until 1500 to do this. So we'll see if we can become a great power by 1500 as Ulm. Milan wants to be our friend. Ooh, that's actually a great ally. Unfortunately, very unfortunate. Austria actually allied Wurttemberg. We're not going to be able to kill off Wurttemberg just yet. It was very unfortunate here is because we're not going to be able to develop any of our territory nor build any buildings. We have to rely solely on expansion and Ingolstadt and Württemberg are our only routes of expansion right now because Memmingen is a free city and Augsburg just allied us. Oh, Austria, they keep allying all the people I want to kill. All right, and we did just get a claim on Ingolstadt, but we're not going to be able to attack them just yet because it'd just be me. And Milan doesn't have enough favors with me, so... Let's also see what other allies I could potentially get. Oh, Salzburg would actually be a pretty decent ally here. So let's go ahead and take Salzburg. Also build up favors with them as they are also allied to Austria. Austria, who's allied to Hungary, Augsburg, Salzburg, Württemberg, and the Pope. And I'm going to keep my guy. Ingolstadt wants us to support their independence. I'm not really into that, but Mainz wants to be our friend, so I'll do that. We're going to take Virtues of Palatea, which gives us the extra manpower. All right, so we did get enough favors. Let's go ahead and attack on all of our friendos. Kill off Ansbach's army here. All right, Ansbach has fallen. Poor Salzburg just keeps getting bullied here, and mine's just pretty much lost their army. Oh, Milan, where are you? Oh, they're coming. Yeah, but I won't last. <laughs> uh, oh, no, my army got stack wiped. Uh, all my allies could all my allies could just stick together this would be a lot easier and we're just waiting for this fort to fall and then once that happens we finally win our whole war yes okay Inglostat our vassal it's quite a bit of aggressive expansion though I'll also take this province here maybe take Ansbach which will then make Beirut our vassal it'll no longer be a free city which that's unfortunate we are gonna again suffer a lot of AE here but this should be okay. Should be fine. No Austria. And what's kind of unfortunate about this is because we can't develop anything. We can't dev the institution. So we have to rely solely on the spread of the institution to get to us. Or if somebody wants to just simply sell it to us. We can also finally get Bohemia to be our friend, which is huge. Good defensive alliance. And we just got Admin Tech 5. So we're going to take diplomatic ideas. Extra diplomat, please. And we'll send him over to our vassal so he doesn't revolt against us. Uh, mines. What if I don't join this war? Also, our tier 3 government reform. We're going to go with the consolidation of power. So we can get a little bit long, like an extra year out of our ruler. And mines is trying to take this province. So let's make sure that we occupy that so they cannot get that province. Now, ooh. The war is over. We released Bamberg as a sovereign state, who is a country that is of the same color as me, which is a crime all on its own. Let's call our diplomat, 
and fabricate on you. And yeah, I'm going to keep my guy again because we have 83 Republican tradition. All oh, these monarch points I'd be dumping into my country right now. This this like irks me so bad. Well, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and attack them. Why? Oh, Salzburg's no longer our friend. What happened here? Oh, they rival us. Of course. Uh, we'll go ahead and attack them or Bamberg. Okay, and this war is over. We are we're just going to take the province of Bamberg here. We're just kind of snaking our way up here. And we will start fabricating on Saxony next. It's time for a war. I'm off Nuremberg. Let my allies do all that work, pretty much. I'm sure Bo oh, Bohemia wants nothing from Saxony. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Obviously, I want to annex all Thuringia. But I also want Nuremberg. So Nuremberg is 19 death. Meanwhile, that's like half the dev of Thuringia right there. We're just going to take these two because this gives us a route of expansion to Hesse and Brunswick. And we'll make uh, Saxony actually cancel their overlordship of Thuringia and have them give us war reps. At this point, Ulm has just become a giant snake. And this is going to be rough. We need 400 dev? Oh my god. Oh no, our guy finally died. Oh, he died. We'll go with the diplomatic candidate. It's time to kill Wurzburg. I guess we'll call him Mines. Why not? Also get the extra Diplo rep. Oh, yes. this It's all coming together now. Currently, we have plus five Diplo rep. Obviously, if I get an advisor, that'll bump us up to six. Wurzburg, you're the boy that we were after. It's going to give us a coalition of just two province or two countries. Annex them. Okay. Uh, before, I should probably... Get a couple more allies then. Uh, what about Brandenburg? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, we'll do, we'll do Brandenburg. Ooh, Burgundy just went under Austria. And France actually just attacked Austria. So let's go ahead and do this war. And yeah, let's see how that goes. Bombard the fort. Uh, even if I full annex Hesse, that, this might actually be a problem. Yeah, yeah, I, I gotta I gotta full annex them. Let's do it. And people are entering a coalition, of course. Nice. We are just the Ulm blob in the center here. And people are going to hate us even more because we rejected land to be given to Austria. Oh, boy. <laughs> All these people. Oh, even Austria could technically join a coalition if they weren't at war with France. We just have to compete with Austria for great power status. Nice. So if I get Poland, I don't have to worry about anything. All right, and our choose with Thuringia is up, so I am going to go ahead and attack them, call my buddy Bohemia. Let's go for it. All righty. This war is over. I am going to take my ideas first. I'm going to go with defensive. Uh, let me just sit on this war for a little bit. Ah, they flipped to friendly. Even better. This would be a little bit crazy. We're just going to full annex both Nuremberg and Thuringia. And now we're going to ally Poland. Ah, no. Saxony's in the coalition. Uh... Who can I attack? Who can I attack? And Bohemia's gone. That's okay. We don't need Bohemia when we got Poland, Lithuania, Hungary. And Burgundy is now part of Austria. Even better. Yeah, I love this. Austria, no. Now I won't be able to get them, I'm sure. Ah, dude. Literally, if I was able to dev, this challenge would not be a problem by 1500. Sure, Magda. They leave the coalition and are like, yeah, I want to be your friend. Sure. All right. Uh, who else can I actually get to be my ally here? 14 other countries. Do they actually, or do they matter? Yeah. Yeah. The style is actually pretty good. All right. Choose with mines is up. So that might not be a bad war to do really fast. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do this war super fast. Our truce with Bohemia did just end, but Poland won't join because they still like Bohemia. And our ruler died. So military candidate it is also just found out Poland is 654 ducats in debt. Austria finally died. I didn't even realize that. They just now got reelected. Now, out of this war, I just want to kill off mine. Yeah, yeah, still a coalition. That's okay. Yeah, we only have a few years. Annex. Oh, my. All right, let's annex my subject here. And Austria is going in on Bohemia. Which, you know what that means? I'm going in on Bohemia then, too. Just screw you, Austria. It's not fair if you could attack them, but I can't. The unfortunate thing here is Austria just needs to own their capital. But for me, I kind of have to get everything else around the capital. 
I also don't like how me and Austria are the same color, so I can't tell what's occupied by me and what's occupied by Austria. All right, and I did just annex my subject, so that's a little bit of extra dev. Unfortunately, Austria is about to unify with Bohemia, which is going to drag me into war with Austria. Which, of course, that's exactly what I want, you know? Uh, 35 war score with Bohemia. How much can I get out of this? Fine. I'll take it. Whatever. Ugh. Sure, Poland. Who's breaking their alliance? Magdeburg, Brandenburg, and Frankfurt. That's okay. I got Poland. Oh, yeah. How many people owe? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a moderate amount. Uh, friendos? Who wants to be my friendo? Six countries. Austria is in a coalition against us. Nice. So in other words, we're definitely going to die by 1500. Yep, there it is. Nice. Uh, Austria. Get away. Get away, get away. We just had to survive for five, or, yeah, five years. Meanwhile, we're at war with all of Central Europe. Uh, let's just go all the way to, uh, Viesma. Oh. I saw the, the peace screen with Poland. I'm like, please, Poland, no, don't don't abandon me yet. Ah, I thought they were alone. Yeah, I'll just let my allies deal with this. Meanwhile, we're just gonna chill down here in the Ukraine. Cause why not? Oh, nice. They burned down one of my cities. Nice. And I'm about to declare bankruptcy, because that's exactly what I need right now. Oh, yeah. Now I don't have to worry about any of those monarch points, boys. Don't have to worry about monarch points if you don't have any of them. I'm not even going to worry about rebels, because the AI is fully sieging my country. So they, they can kill all my rebels. Uh, three more years. Only three more years. Oh, I'm a presidential dictatorship now. That sounds good. That's what's going to save our country right now is having a dictatorship. We're about there. Just like one more year after. The, like we're, it's about to be January. Once January hits, it's just one more year. Like Poland. Oh no. They're low. And Poland's getting destroyed. And then my former allies, they're all entering in coalitions against me. Now Brandenburg, Nassau, and Magdeburg are like, you know what? Screw you. I'm about to go double bankrupt too. And Milan's out of the war. So he gave some land to Switzerland. Frankfurt, another former ally in the coalition now. Poland's probably going to end up out at any minute. But it doesn't matter because it's almost January, baby. Come on, Poland. Just two more months and I'll, I'll, I'll glad I'll, your misery will be over. Until you get partitioned in our life. And the year is... <laughs> we're bankrupt again. But it is January 1st of 1500. So our challenge was to Camrian to become a great power as Ulm by 1500 without deving any of your provinces or building any buildings. Did we come close? No. We needed another like 400 points in order to become a great power, right? Yeah, to become a great power, we must beat Timurids with their great power rating of 465. Our current rating is 213. That's going to conclude it for this challenge video uh, for this week. So, Camrian, you are up. I, ho I am hope to see your response soon and hope to see what your world looks like by 1500. And I will see all of you guys in the next video.